Think of someone who used their imagination. Sometimes we let our imaginations take us into darker realms than we would think, such as spirits, aliens, Loch Ness monsters, conspiracy theories. But the beautiful thing about our universe is that there is no real proof that these things are either right or wrong. We can let our imaginations run wild and keep pushing boundaries because there is nothing stopping us. We can either even imagine a better life for ourselves, how certain situations will go, and life beyond. Even though these things seem out of our control, with our imaginations we can start to understand our own meaning through life and what we are here to do. I believe imagination and dreams are just blueprints and a guide to what you want to accomplish. Nothing great would ever have gotten done without some ideas and some hard work. So go for it. Shoot for a Nobel Prize or landing that record label. Send men to space and fight for equality. Be the first woman president and create new forms of government. The future lies within us. We just have to imagine it first. When we look at Martin Luther King Jr. now, we see a, great, a man of great honor and integrity. We listen to the I Have a Dream speech and think it's normal now. But what we have to realize is, the idea of desegregation was abstract at the time. People were being born in this world only knowing segregated schools, water fountains, and bathrooms. But because groups of people created and imagined a world without restrictions, we have the beautiful and blended society. It is because of these abstract ideas that love can be love and skin color can have no prejudice. It is because of our imaginations that we can live in a better world. I leave you with a challenge, and that challenge is to listen. Listen to other people's ideas and listen to that little voice in your head that drives you. Don't be afraid to be different. Go outside the box and plan. You never know. Your imagination might be the key to help solve big problems.